Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. As promised, we're going to do some nice quick videos of how to do different things on a fire stick if you're not too familiar with it. And today we're going to quickly look at how to clear cash from different applications. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max, but this is going to work for any Fire Stick or any Fire TV Cube or any Fire TV as well. And in a moment, we will kind of explain what cash does, but let's get on with it first of all. So if I go across on the home screen, you're going to see above my head here, there's like a settings icon, a cog. And once you're at this, we can go down. And then you want to find where it says applications. Now, once you've found this, simply click on that. And then scroll down to the bottom where it says manage installed applications. And once we click on this, it's going to take us through to his apps section. There's a couple of different things you can do to sort it. You can sort it alphabetically or in size. But then once you, you can scroll down your apps, and once you find an app that you want to clear the cache, as you can see above there, you can see it says press play pause to uninstall or press the rewind button on your remote, and this will clear the cache. So if I press on that, you're going to see deleting this cache will free up 18.81 megabyte of storage. Are you sure you want to continue? We're going to click on confirm, and now that's cleared. Now, I should have got rid of me first, but as we can see in the bottom corner there, it says cache zero bytes. And another way to do it is simply clicking on the app itself, and then you've got a few different options here. Like if an app crashes or something, we can click on force stop. But down here we can see it says clear cache. Now I've quickly just launched iPlayer. Simply so now I can go back across to settings, down to applications, manage installed applications, down to BBC iPlayer. And once again, you can see the cache is now populated to 6.39 megabyte. And like we said, you can click the rewind button or we can click on the app, go down, says clear cache, click on that and then it's gone. Now you can do this for every single app if you want, but cache is common. And if you do clear the cache, once you open the app up again, you will see that that cache starts to build again. But as we just saw with that, it was taking up 18 megabyte of storage. So if you do have a lot of applications installed, you might want to start clearing the cache say once a month. And one example of what cache does is when you open up an application, it starts loading up different images and stuff like that. It kind of saves that. So next time you start the app, it's a lot faster. Whereas if you clear the cache, it will have to load all those back in. And that's why the cache starts to populate again. But do let me know in the comment section down below, do you clear the cache or do you just leave it? Me personally... I don't tend to do that, I just leave it. But I don't install that many different apps onto my device, so I've always got quite a bit of storage available. And yeah, like I said, quick videos for beginners, just showing how to do things, or if you know somebody that needs a bit of help with something, you don't have to explain it on the phone. And anything you think people might struggle with or like to know about how to do things on Fire Stick, let us know in the comments section down below. So that's how to clear the cache on a Fire Stick. No jokes in these videos because I want to keep them as fast as possible. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Ta-da!